Report, sailor! Well, we've caught something in the net, Captain! <laughs> Finally. We might not have to starve to death in this blasted mist, after all. All right, let's see what we've caught. Reel it in, Joe! Well, what kind is it? Is it a big one? Can we eat it? It's... it's an airplane! Ah, release the net! I thought we were saved. Scrap salvage is the last thing we need right now. But, sir, what if there's food in there? Rations of some sort? Or cake! Maybe it's full of cake! <laughs> uh, go ahead. Reel it in and get your cake. I don't care. Ouch! I told you it was a bad idea to have a farm of cacti in an airplane! <laughs> Don't this my cacti, man? It's not their fault that you landed on them. Well, maybe if you hadn't crashed the airplane, I might have considered not sitting on one. Oh, Yeah, great landing, Buona. I'm glad you're still alive, so I still have the chance to strangle you! Master Pilot, huh? Uh, enter? Hello! Funny thing. So, let me get this straight. We're simply stuck out here in the mist? I'm afraid so, miss. This ship isn't going anywhere. Without a lighthouse, it got us. No idea where to steer. We're just gonna have to wait it out. If you're lucky, it won't be more than a couple of weeks. I can't believe this. Is there really nothing we can do? Well, if we knew our bearings, I guess that'd be a good start. But we don't. We've always relied on the lighthouse for navigation. Buona, you're a pilot. You have any ideas? What you need, lady? Our bearings. We need to find out in which direction the ship is heading. Ah, no worries, Lena. You can always count on Buona Chatters. Great. I'll take this opportunity to catch up on some more reading. Hmm. How the heck am I gonna figure out what direction the ship's going? Hey, Joe. What you looking for? I'm trying to catch a glimpse of Port R2, or another vessel, or anything that might help us get back to port. But all I see is darkness. And that there buoy, of course. <sighs> We're gonna stay moored to it until the fog lifts, so we don't just keep drifting away. Could be today, could be in a week. Catch you later, Joe. Keep wanna, stay afloat. Hey, Joe. Can I help? Well, your lady friend was onto something there. If we somehow can figure out our bearings, we might just have a chance of getting out of this suit on our own. What is this place? You're on board the MS Beko, an eel trawler lost somewhere in the thick soup and mist far from its port. So this boat catches eels? Sure. It's the only thing we misters can do. Hunt for eels. Ain't nothing else out in the mist as far as I know. Only darkness. Cold, wet, darkness. Problem now is we can't catch Jack in this thick mist. No wheels get stuck in a static net. And we don't dare move in case we drift further away. What is the mist anyways? I have no idea. It's just... It's just there. Is there no water down there? I can't hear any waves. Nobody knows what's down there. We're not supposed to ask. If you start asking those kind of questions in port, you'll get busted in no time. We don't talk about it. The boats just kind of float, and that's all we need to know to catch our eels. So, what happened to the lighthouse? <laughs> Beats me. It worked fine when we left port. And about a week ago, when I woke up from my shift one morning, I couldn't see it. And we've just been aimlessly drifting since. Catch you later, Joe. Keep wanna stay afloat.
Kito, brother. How you doing, man? I'm okay, Buana. Just a little seasick. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lie here for a while. Of course, man. I've got this covered. Hey, can I borrow that screwdriver? <laughs> sure, man. Knock yourself out. Thanks, buddy. No problem, Buana. Go drive them screws. Perfect. This is probably exactly what Joe needs. Eh, hey, Buana, I thought tinkering with the airplane was my job. No, no. Your job is fixing the airplane after I break it. <laughs> I guess we won't need our makeshift safety belts anymore, but the duct tape might still come in handy. Hey, Kito. Hey there, Buana. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves into quite a pickle here. Yeah, man. This boat is going nowhere. How did we wind up in this mess anyways? <laughs> Buana, you already forget, eh? Well, long story short, we were up to our knees in debt back home in Kingsport Bay. And then, that lady Lena shows up, looking for a book. It turns out we had the book she was looking for. Some old book that belonged to Kono Dodo. Then all of a sudden, she... And that... Right. Yeah. And then we go... We flew over the... And wound up here. Exactly. How did she know our father had the book she was looking for? I don't know, Buana. I guess Kono Dodo must have been mixed up in the same stuff as she is, one way or another. Too bad he isn't around to explain these things. I sure miss him. Me too, man. Later, Kito! We're heading north, northeast. Check it out! Great! Guessing our bearing without the lighthouse to guide us is absolutely impossible. This should definitely help us get to the port. Now, all we need is a map so we can figure out our location. So we still have no idea where we are? I'm afraid so, pal. And with a captain going full barrel on the eel rinse, I'm afraid we can forget asking him for help. Ah, if only we had a map or something. No worries, man. I'll think of something. First class engineering. Light! Beautiful light! Captain Slash the wires said we have to conserve energy. But he's taking it too far. Oh, this darkness is horrible. I'm just thinking about all those scary things out in the mist is driving me mad! What scary things? Pirates! Bloodthirsty! Pirates! Not to mention the eels. Small ones are friendly enough, but the big ones. Oh, the big ones. I don't want to think about it. Wish we were back in port, aren't you? There are pirates out there? You're kidding me. You never heard of the Sisulus? Nastiest pirates there are. They're a curse to these mists and to all of us who work it. They heck and slash their way through any vessel they encounter, no matter the flag. Oh, it's a bloody mess when they're done. Stay clear of the Sisulus if you want to keep your body parts. That's all I'm saying, mate. They're a bloodthirsty lot. Eaten by eels? Really? Really? You never heard about the Hungries? I've heard tales of them swallowing entire ships, twice the size of this one. You mean a giant eel could pop up and eat us at any minute now? Well... As long as there's a charge left in our batteries, we should be okay. Legend has it they never come close when you got your lights on. It's what happens when we run out of fuel and everything goes dark that scares me. Tell me about Port Archu. It's the only town down here under St. Armando. As far as I know, at least. It's the home port and most ships work in the mist. Sometimes the fog lifts, but most of the time it's just completely enveloped in a thick, soupy fog. It's no happy place, but it's certainly better than being stuck out here. There's warmth there. <gasps> and food! Wonderful food! Oh, crikey, mate. Oh, it's cracking stuff. 
See you around. Hey, look, a loose spring. I better take it before it pokes someone's eye out. fastened with two screws. Let's get this window off. Ha ha! Oh boy, sometimes I'm so smart I surprise myself. Hey, it's a navigation book. Joe. Catch keep. Hey, look what I borrowed from the captain's bridge. Hey, that's just what we need. We're in the know the rubble, eh? <laughs> I could have never guessed. <laughs> that means we're ready to fire up the engines and get out of here. I never thought I'd say this, but it's gonna be good getting back into port. We have here. The name's Barlow. Police Chief Barlow. You're under arrest. All of you. Arrest? On what charges? Don't try and fool me, Angel. The Journal of the Journey Down doesn't belong to you. Hey, give that back to her! <laughs> I don't think so. You boys gonna spend some time in the can. And you and me, Angel. We're gonna have a little chit-chat. <laughs> 